Let's go to Luke chapter 6, verse 31. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. And as ye would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. So what is that saying there? The way that you want to be treated, treat people the same. For instance, let's take a scale from 1 through 10. 1 as being the lowest, 10 as being the highest. Some people are treating people, others, at a level 6. No. Let's say that some people want to be treated at a level 8, but they are treating people at a level 4, 3, 2, so on and so on. Whatever you do, you are going to reap what you sow. So it is going to come back upon you. So if you are treating people at a level four or three, whatever, the way that you are treating people is going to come back upon you. Let me say this. A while ago, maybe a year ago, for one or two years, I was doing something for this person. And I really did not want to do this for this person. And it was like a five day a week job. I really did not want to do it. And I was quite upset at the time, but I was thinking, I am being tested. So God is monitoring my attitude, my thoughts, and everything like that. So I said, I may not like what I am doing, but I am going to force, listen, I am going to force myself to like what I am doing. So I am going to force, force positive thoughts about what I am doing for this person into my head. I am going to force, force positive words about that person, about what I am doing. I am going to like what I am doing. I am going to force myself to like this, even though I don't like it. So for a while, it was really hard to force myself to like it and I disliked it so much but I forced myself then it got to the point where I did not have to force myself anymore because I forced myself so often that it became second nature after a while so I begun or began to enjoy what I was doing. I'm telling you, it works. So something happened and some bad things happened. You know, I went through some issues and stuff like that. And at that time, I was doing so much for this person. And something happened and I could not do what I was doing for that person. And now, my Lord, now I am being treated either on that same level or a bit higher than how I was treating that other person. So for about one or two years, I was doing something for this person. Now that I am not doing that anymore, I am reaping what I have sown those two years and the way that I am being treated now is unbelievable. I am being treated 
so, so kindly. More than kind. Like, when I was being treated in this way, I was shocked. I'm like, what is going on? There have to be a catch to it, you know. <laughs> there have to be a catch. <laughs> because I am not used to people treating me in this kind way. So kind. Very, very kindly. So I am a witness for me to tell you that when you do well unto others, good things are going to come to you. I never expected these good things to come upon me. I never did. All I was concerned about is pleasing God. I said to myself, I am being tested and God is watching me, everything. So I want to pass this test and move on to the next test, which happened. <laughs> and I am on this new test. I have been on this new test for about a year now. <laughs> but I am being treated with so much consideration, so much love, so much help, so much understanding support, so on and so on. It is great. Let's go to one more scripture. You see, when you choose to live for God, good things are going to happen to you. When you don't choose to live for God, how can you access his promises? How can you? You want the promises, but you are not living under that agreement that if you obey God, he is going to help you. So if you are not living under that agreement, how can you obtain God's promises? How can you? Like I said before, when I was in sin, there were things that I liked to do. I liked acting evil at that time until I learned about demons and stuff like that. But at that time, I liked being evil. I was a evil dude. Really, really mean. I was so mean. I was mean. Why? Because I could be mean. There was no exact reason for it. I just want it to be mean. Some people just love to be wicked, even now. But I gave up those ways because I found out that it was to my disadvantage to continue to live in sin. Even though I liked being mean, and even though I liked to curse people out, even though I liked to mess around with women and stuff like that, yes. Even though I liked doing whatever I wanted to do, I learned that it was to my disadvantage to continue on in that life. So slowly but surely, I changed. It was not easy, but the more information I gained about God, it made, it made it more easy let's go to colossians chapter 3 verses or verse 23 and whatsoever ye do do it heartily what does heartily mean very to a great degree especially with reference to personal feelings Okay, and whatsoever ye do, do it heartily, do it very well with all your heart, as if, as to the Lord. 
So in whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men. So when you are doing something for me, let's say that you want to help me out. You know, like I tell you that, hey, I am passing out Bibles to people and I need extra hands to pass out Bibles to people. So when you are helping me pass out Bibles, don't do it as if you are doing it for me, but do it as if you are doing it unto God. Because you're not doing it to me. Listen. Whatever you do on this earth, God is watching everything that we are doing. God is watching everything that we are saying, behaving, so on and so on. We get rewarded for things based upon what we do for other people. For instance, let's say... Let me watch my words. <laughs> Let's say I am a carnal person and I work 80 hours a week and I am thinking about money and making a good life for myself on this earth. Let's say that I am very carnal and work 60, 70 to 80 hours a week. I don't get rewarded based upon what I do for myself for working 80 hours a week. Now, let's say that I work 80 hours a week and I am doing that to gain money to help others. Like whatever I make, I give like 50% or 40% toward Bibles or for a church to feed people and give people clothes and stuff like that. I get rewarded for doing things for people. I don't get rewarded for saving my money and making $30 million and I am bragging to everyone, guess how much I have. I don't get rewarded for God for doing things for myself. Yes, I get rewarded for praying. Yes, I get rewarded for obeying God's rules and regulations. Yes, I get rewarded for doing things of God. But when it comes down to making my life better on earth by fixing up my yard, by working so hard for me, to make more money, buying myself a new car. I don't get rewarded for doing things for myself per se. But I get rewarded based upon what I do for other people. I pray that makes sense there. So you working all day, every day, and you are doing it to just serve you and your family only. What reward is there? Carnal, waste of time. Let me focus on earthly matters and skip things of God, skip helping people out, skip doing good deeds and stuff like that. Let me just focus on my life. What reward is there? And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily. So, if I were to ask you, hey, help me pass out Bibles or help me print out some paperwork for people to learn about God. Help me rake a person's yard. You are not doing it for me. You are doing it unto God. And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men. Why? Why are you doing it? as if you are doing it unto the Lord, because he is the one that is going to reward you for it. 
Listen. Some people, man, <laughs> this is going to hit someone here. Some people only want to do things for people if they are getting paid for it. Listen, man. <laughs> when it comes down to the rewards of this earth and the rewards of heaven, the rewards in heaven is greater than the rewards here on earth. Don't always look for a payment to do things for people. Do things out the kindness of your heart. For instance, I did something for, well, I usually do something for this person every month. And this last time or the latest time, it took me about three or more hours. Ah, about two or more hours to do something for this person. And the only thing I asked for was gas money. That's it. I did not, and even with the gas money, it was only $5. And I had to, the trip there takes about 20 or more minutes. So 20 or more minutes there, then 20 or more minutes back. So a 40 minute trip, Plus something for three hours or two and a half hours or let's say three hours only for five dollars. Why? I want my reward in heaven. And I am not telling you this to brag. I am not telling you this to show how great of a guy I am because I don't care about that stuff, man. I don't look for attention. I only I only do these videos pretty much is to help people. If it was listen. To be quite honest, if it was up to me, I would hide under a rock until the day I die, then go to heaven. But something within me pushes me to reach out to people. This is the reason why I do what I do now. Not for attention, not for fame, not for anything like that. I just want more people to come to heaven. Now, I don't get the things that I do for people, per se, I don't get paid. Now, if I if someone asks me to pick them up or take them to somewhere, yes, they pay me for gas and stuff like that. But for the amount for what I do for them, it's a very low price. Now, if they were to take like a cab or some type of transportation, they would have to pay a lot more. But I'm like, look, just pay for gas. That's it. Or less than what it takes for gas. So what I am trying to say, do things as if you are doing it unto God. And when you do that, you are not only going to reap what you sow on this earth, but you are going to gain rewards in heaven as well. If you plan on going to heaven, you should care about gaining rewards in heaven. I hear some people say, and... Well, I don't care about gaining rewards in heaven. I just want to go there. Just wait until you get there. You say all of that now, but when you see people get their mansions and all this other stuff and crowns and stuff like that, I want to 
tell you when you go to heaven, you said that <laughs> you don't care about rewards. So let me take your crown. Let me take your home. Let me take everything that God wants to give you since you only care about getting to heaven. No, you want to receive what God has for you in heaven. Because if you want a semi good life now, you want things in this life, how much more will you want things in the next life? I believe some people say that just to make themselves seem whatever. Like, hey, I am this good guy. I just love God. That's why I no. One of the many reasons why I serve God is because I don't want to go to hell. Some people say, well, the only reason they serve God is because they love God. I don't think that is true. <laughs> because what pushed me or motivated me to serve God is the thought of going to hell. I'm like, hey, I don't want to go to hell. So let me stop right here. And I pray that this makes sense. Whatever you do, and let me say this first. When I, when I do things for people, I don't expect anything back. You know, unless I said to them, or if they want me to pick them up, you know, they got to pay for gas or whatever, you know, five or ten dollars, whatever. But other than like, like since I am doing this for you, you owe me back. No, I don't play that. I don't act in that way. Whenever I do something for you, I don't look for any favor back. I don't. Because I know that I am going to reap whatever I have sown. So let me stop here. I pray that this makes sense to you. God bless.